Hi friends, in this video we are solving a problem on gamma function that is application of the gamma function given that evaluate integral 0 to 1 dx by square root of minus log x. Okay, so uh, this is we are doing this problem by using gamma function of first write down given value given that what we have to evaluate integral 0 to 1 dx by square root of 1 minus log x. So gamma n definition what is the gamma function you have for n? gamma n is equal to integral 0 to infinite e to the power of minus x into x to the power of n minus 1 dx. Here you see is there any e power x terms? No, you don't have any term. So in this case what I am doing means consider minus log x is equal to t. So that implies you will have minus log x is equal to t is nothing but log x is equal to minus t. Then taking anti uh, exponential function nothing but anti log on both sides then you will have x is equal to e to the power of minus t then dx is equal to what minus e power minus t now we are changing xr in terms of t so we have to change the limits also no? so x is uh, uh, for x is equal to 0 whatever the t you see if you put x is equal to 0 log 0 is how much minus infinite minus half minus here plus only so you will have plus infinite Next for x is equal to 1, x is equal to 1 means log 1 is 0, minus 0 is nothing but 0 only, no? so t is equal to here you have 0, okay, so the lower limit is infinite and upper limit of t is 0, so now you have to substitute these all values in the above equation, now limits from lower limit is what you have, infinite, upper limit what you have, 0, okay, is equal to uh, here 1 by root log x, 1 by root is root, log x is equal to you consider as a t dx is nothing but e to the power of minus t into sorry i have to write here dt so this is dt dx we are differentiating both sides so dx is equal to e to the power of minus t into minus 1 into dt now you observe here uh, you have just a small change here actually gamma function is defined like 0 to infinite but here you don't have that 0 to infinite minus sign is then so minus i have written here we know the from the definite integral properties integral a to b f of x dx is equal to integral b to a minus of b to a f of x dx these are definite integral properties so minus if you written outside then it will becomes like directly i am writing integral 0 to infinite e to the power of minus t into 1 by root t dt and uh, i have to write in this form exactly so that is integral 0 to infinite e to the power of minus t root t is nothing but t power 1 by 2 if you written in the numerator you can write t to the power of minus 1 by 2 into dt now you have a formula from the definite integral integral 0 to integral a to b f of x dx you can also write as integral a to b f of t dt yes or no? so this is both will be equal so you observe gamma n function type if you have see here integral 0 to infinite here also you observe integral 0 to infinite e to the power of minus x so e to the power of minus t and uh, x power n minus 1 t power minus 1 by 2 so what you can write this as gamma actually that you can you can write gamma n whenever you have n minus 1 is n minus 1 is their power then you will write gamma n so here what you have in place of n minus 1 i have minus 1 by 2 so n is equal to minus 1 n, n minus 1 is equal to minus 1 by 2 then n is equal to minus 1 by 2 plus 1 so this is 1 by 2 so you can write gamma of 1 by 2 in this case okay now now here gamma of 1 by 2 is nothing but what you have root pi so the solution is what you have root pi that is integral 0 to 1 dx by square root of minus log x is equal to root pi that's it is it clear for everyone i'll repeat again you see the given problem we have to uh, changing into gamma function type for that i have substituted by substitution method only we are doing this problem minus log x you consider as a t inside the root is there now that is why we required e power minus x only we are not required e power x square that is why we are not taking root here so minus log x is equal to t then log x is equal to minus t then anti log if you are applied x is equal to e to the power of minus t now differentiating on both sides to get a dx just dx is equal to e power minus t dt now lower limit and upper limit if you substitute x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 1 you will have a t lower limit and upper limit then you will have minus 1 by root t into e to the power of minus t to write in a proper way e power minus t into t to the power of minus 1 by 2 i can write here so this is minus is there so uh, minus uh, 
infinite to 0 will become 0 to infinite. Now, e power minus t into t power n minus 1 form. What is the n minus 1 here you have? Minus 1 by 2. So, n is equal to what you can write here? 1 by 2. We know that uh, gamma of 1 by 2, gamma n, uh, this is equal to, gamma of 1 by 2 is nothing but what? Root pi. So, this is the solution for integral 0 to 1 dx by square root of minus log x. Thank you for watching this video.